One of the most effective ways to build wealth is to invest in the stock market. And one of the stock market's greatest assets is the sheer number of opportunities for profit. Many people have taken advantage of this fact to become millionaires and billionaires. Though there are many risks that block others, there are a few individuals that made their way to the top. Here are some of the richest investors in the world right now. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors in the world. He is nicknamed the Oracle of Omaha for his vast knowledge in the field. His investing strategy revolves around finding undervalued but well-managed companies and investing in them. He is the CEO and largest stakeholder of Berkshire Hathaway, which holds over 60 businesses. His net worth is estimated to be around $125 billion, making him one of the richest people in the world. Jim Simons, nicknamed the Quant King, is one of the most successful investors of all time. He made his fortune by mastering the principles of mathematics and applying them to economic markets. He uses algorithms and models to profit from market anomalies. Despite having a brilliant career as a prize-winning mathematician and a proficient code breaker for the IDA, he chose to go into finance. At first, he didn't consider using math in his pursuit, but with time, he found he could analyze data using mathematical and statistical techniques. The hedge fund Mometrix was founded by the math wizard in 1978. Mometrix is the foreigner of Simon's renowned Renaissance Technologies, also known as Rentec. This has helped him invest in brands such as Zoom and Verisign to build a fortune of around $28. Kenneth Griffin is the second most affluent person in the state of Illinois. He is an investor who has deep familiarity with math. He has a fondness for quantitative investment approaches. With scientific data, he takes risks in numerous investment options. He's given tens of millions of dollars to various politicians and causes, mostly those associated with the Republican Party. In the year 2021, Griffin and his company, Citadel LLCs have garnered considerable recognition. Unfortunately, it has little to do with the hedge fund's efficiency. The focus was instead on Griffin and Citadel's cameo appearances in the GameStop brief market frenzy. His company gained traction in the wave of meme stocks. Nevertheless, Ken Griffin is a legitimate investor who achieved a $28.5 billion estimated net worth in today's market. At a scene in his well-acclaimed book, Principles, Life and Work, Raymond Thomas Dalio has recently established himself as a thought leader in investing. Many people credit his unconventional management style, which demands total honesty, responsibility, and transparency. He started investing when he was 12. By the time he graduated from high school, he had amassed a multi-thousand dollar investment account. Later on, Ray graduated from Harvard Business School with an MBA in 1973. Ray Dalio founded Bridgewater Associates two years later. Bridgewater was ranked as the world's largest hedge fund in 2013, and it has remained the position ever since. ETS, like the Vanguard FC Emerging Markets ETF, are the firm's best asset. As the long-running chairman of Bridgewater Associates, Ray Dalio is currently worth $22 billion. Carl Icahn is recognized as one of the most successful activist investors alive. He's a business magnate whose signature move is to purchase out struggling businesses and turn them around. He's a genius at the strategy as he's been practicing it since the 70s. He started his venture into finance by being a stockbroker on Wall Street. However, he didn't get famous there. In the first few months after Donald Trump took office, Carl Icahn's name became known to the public as he counseled the Trump administration on regulatory reform. Furthermore, Icahn once put his money in hedge funds. However, he left the business in 2011. Still, he stayed true to his activist way of investing. With this, he has made a lot of money from Apple, Cloudera, and Herbalife. It has also awarded him a $16.6 .6 billion net worth. Soros is one of the few successful investors who admits to relying heavily on instinct when making decisions. He is noted for being insightful about regional and international economic events and for using that information to capitalize on market inefficiencies with massive wagers. George Soros was born in Budapest and came to the UK in 1947 after surviving the Nazi takeover of Hungary. He made his debut in business by working for various merchant banks in England and then the USA before founding his first hedge fund called Double Eagle in 1969. He also managed Quantum Fund, a venture that gained a yearly average return of 30%. The hedge fund peaked from 1970 to 2000. 
He is one of the biggest philanthropists on this list, donating up to 6-4% of his original wealth. Today, the generous businessman is still left with $8.6 billion.